see how to do a workout in your hotel room or in your house or wherever with just a few things. If all you got is a bar, a little bar and maybe some little weights, you got a Swiss ball or you got a bench. Today I'm going to be using a Swiss ball and some dumbbells. Let me get them. And there's plenty more. Be creative in the way that you put these together. But here is a full workout with just a few pieces of equipment. And you can get everything that you need to do to keep your gains. That's it. And so starting off with Monday, let's say it's Monday or the first day of the week, you're going to work out and you want to do some kind of chest workout. There's a few things that you can do for chest. And I'm going to give you some examples. So the first is like a bench press. So you can take your bar or you can take dumbbells depending on how much weight you want to use. You may be able to put more weight on a bar. And there's a thousand ways to do this thing, but look, we're going to start by laying back. And so the ball becomes your bench, so down and up. And if you've got enough weight, you can get some decent presses in like this. So keep going and have whatever amount of reps that you'd like. I'm not here to tell you how to work out. I'm here to show you some moves you can do at home or in a hotel room as you travel. Go so down and up. There's a the bench press. Simple as eight touch to rest period, that's what this is. Watch. Set it to whatever time you want. I'll do 60 seconds a lot. You can get that in and you can get flies in the same way. So look. Flat, down, up, down, and up. There's dumbbell flies. What you do is roll down, get your feet up, sit in an incline position. I'm at about 45 degrees or something. Down and up, down and up. That's all there is to it. Then you switch. Here's flies. Down and up. Now there's a lot of different combinations of things that you can do like this. So you can do all your flies, incline and flat. You can do presses, incline and flat. If you've got enough weight on your dumbbells, you can do dumbbell presses. There's no reason why you can't. You can get all that stuff in right here. Tuesday, if you want to do back and biceps, there's a few things that you can do just with this stuff. The most basic thing, of course, for back, and I'm talking about lats here, not lower back. We're talking about, when I say back, I'm talking about lats. So the bent over row, this always works. Start from an upright position, lean over, knees slightly bent, and pull up just like I got here. Pinch your shoulder blades together at the top, right here, pinch, flex. Down and up. And that's all there is to it. Now you can do that This will be the next exercise. If you don't have a bed or a bench or something real sturdy, you can even use a ball. And this isn't the best choice, but it's better than nothing. So you just pull it. Some people call these lawnmower pulls. Now you can lean on anything. Now look, you can do the same thing here, of course. If you 
light dumbbells back. You can even do squats. And you can even do this. There's all your leg stuff. You can get any. Shoulder day. So you can sit down and push. You can stand up and push. People call us a military press. This is over here press to the bar. You can do arm presses. You can do side lateral, lateral raises like this. Or like this. Front raises. That gets everything in your shoulders. And don't forget your posterior deltoid. The one in the back. Reverse fly hits that. And this is easy enough with dumbbells. If you like to sit down, sit down, lean over, bring them under your legs, and pull them up. You got it. Pump it up. You can do them with a bar, or you can do them with dumbbells. This is just trapezes. This traps. Here they are with dumbbells in the front position. Here they are in the side position. When in doubt, just do both.